my friends, please don't celebrate these people. They are the reason we are in this problem. Hakuna kupigia makofi watu wa ufisadi, unapiga makofi ya nini? Ya nini? Unapigia makofi kama nani? Umetusaidia na nini? Our dear guests here present including our fourth president Uhuru Kenyatta <laughs> leaders of government but it is necessary especially now as Kenyans we've come a long way one of the things we were able to achieve during the Gen Z revolution is the end to tribalism why are we struggling to bring it back what change do we want in our country and how will we achieve it ladies and gentlemen all the people of kenya it is time we look at ourselves in the mirror and ask ourselves where does bad leadership begin the people in embo yesterday are the ones that have made me to do this video today because they were clapping and cheering for Uhuru Kenyatta and for Rigathi Gashagwa. My question is why? What have they done to deserve it? One of the things that we must do if we take the leadership of this country is to recover the stolen wealth of the people of Kenya, beginning with the land that has been grabbed, our natural resources, and even money that has been stolen through corruption. Why should you people tell us that once Uhuru has retired, Uyo wacha apumziki. Why should he rest with our money? Why not return the money that has been stolen and put abroad, that has been used to build expressway, where in every 10 shillings that a Kenyan pays, 6 shillings goes to his pocket? Did the problems that we have today begin with William Ruto? William Ruto is a greedy president and very corrupt. But is he alone? Did he begin it alone? Why is it that when William Ruto became president, he never followed up on the money that was stolen by the Uru government? Including the money that was stolen on election day when we were voting, 12 billion shillings was withdrawn from our treasury. And they banged the door. And that was nobody but Uhuru. But has he ever followed up the money? No. Why? Because they are one family. They've been stealing together. They began this together. They registered accounts abroad together. They changed our Public Financial Management Act together. They stole Eurobond together. They stole money from SGR together. They are together in most of these things. So why does Uhuru deserve an applause and a cheer? Did Kikuyu businesses do better? When Uhuru was president, didn't most of you lose the property that you built during Kibaki's time? Was your agriculture doing better be be because of Uhuru? Was your infrastructure better? It was corruption left, right and center, beginning even with the uh, project for school uh, laptops. The Uhuru's presidency was part of the problem that we we are trying to solve. Ladies and gentlemen from the mountain, you were not wrong to reject Uhuru. Stop regretting. There is nothing that you said about Uhuru when you were rejecting. That was a lie. The only mistake we made was voting for William Ruto. And we have to accept that mistake and correct it. And the way to correct that mistake is not Gashagwa. Why would we jump from one frying pan to another frying pan? Is there a shortage of good leadership in the mountain? Are there not children born of women in the mountain, men and women of integrity, who can actually be leaders in our country in the mountain? Are they not there? So what is this? We are, why are we celebrating mediocrity? Ladies and gentlemen, we need, as a Kenyans, to have this conversation. It has just begun in the mountain. But the problem is not only in the mountain. You go to Nyanza, they have the same problem. They celebrate the leaders that steal from them. You go to Coast, same problem. They celebrate the leaders that have stolen from them. You go to Ukambani, same problem. You go to Western Province. They received MP for uh, uh, this one called Waluke in jubilation when his corruption case collapsed. 
in Machakos, they received Wavinia Ndeti with jubilation. What exactly are we doing? Kenyans, can you be serious whether you want change or not? Can you just be serious for a moment? Museme, tunataka mabadiliko na tutaipata na mnagani. We cannot get mabadiliko from the same, exchanging the same, same uh, corrupt leaders. And we are choosing a lesser devil. Why are we choosing a lesser devil? Why do we need any devil at all? Is there a shortage of good people that can lead the nation who are people of integrity that cannot be bribed, that are cannot accept a bribe, that are ready to stop corruption, that are brilliant, well-educated, have a vision and a mission? Kwani wamekosekana? Even inside the mountain, wamekosekana kweli? There is no shortage of good leaders. We should not clap and cheer for mediocrity. We should demand for accountability. And let me tell you this, Kenyans, and this is not only to the people of the mountain. This is to all Kenyans. There is no benefit when the leader comes from your tribe. But there is benefit when a leader is a person of integrity with a vision and who is accountable. There is benefit for everyone. A leader doesn't have to come from your tribe. And let me ask the people of the mountain. Did somebody come from Eastern? Did somebody come from Rift Valley? The governors who have stolen your resources, made you poor, your hospitals don't have medicine. I have toured your hospitals. Why do you watch the Vampire Diaries? Is it an entertainment joint? You don't watch the Vampire Diaries for entertainment. The Vampire Diaries is to provoke you to take action about your nation. It is to provoke you to think of change and think of a better Kenya. The governors who are stealing from you, they are from your tribe. Mbona waja waonea uruma? Kwa nini waja sema mimi ni governor wa hii county, mimi ni mkikuyu kama hawa wakikuyu wenye naongoza, sita waibia. Why? There is no benefit that even the people of my tribe can get at just because I become president. The only benefit they can get is if I clean up the economy and make the economy work and make investors make money and make people you know get employment and bring investment and end corruption they will benefit not just because they are from my tribe because every kenyan is benefiting they'll benefit like every other kenyan they'll make their money they will grow they'll buy their property my friends my friends please don't celebrate these people, they are the reason we are in this problem. Hakuna kupigia makofi watu wa ufisadi, unapigia makofi ya nini? Ya nini? Na wapigia makofi kama nani? Ume tusaidia na nini? Why? Gashagwa was impeached. What has the mountain lost? What have you lost? What have you lost? Mumepoteza nini? Ever since the guy left, ni nini halikuwa na wafanyia ya nye sasa haita fanyika? There was nothing happening and nothing will happen. Ilikuwa ni wizi na watu kutengeneza pesa yao. So why should we sympathize? Ati yo sasa muweke kwa simu wa ungeleche. No, 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 no. Hey, aya pana. Let me tell you guys. There's a difference between leaders and politicians. I classify myself as a leader. Politicians try to be right. Wanaskiza ground. Ground inasemanje. Ground inasema gashabwa. Hey, wacha to flow na yo. Ah, ah. Mambo ya ground, no, the ground can mislead us. The majority can be wrong. And when a nation is going in the right, right, wrong direction, it is good for leaders of integrity to stand up and say, Apana, watu wangu, mimi ni nawapenda, lakini munapotea. Na njini watu wa mautikea, nitaftie ni shamba nyeri. I want to come and live amongst you. I want to understand the problem. Nataka nikuje tu ni jenga nyumba hapo, I live there. I take Moratina with you, I sit with you in hotels, and understand what exactly is the problem. Why do we have to take one corrupt leader to replace another one? Eti tunaonea uhuru uruma. Atafungiwa ICC. Tumpigie kura kwe president. Uhuru anakuja na wamaliza. Munasema uhuru wa metumaliza. Afadhali tupigie ruto kupani shuhuru. Ruto anaingia. Ruto ni mbaya. Ametumaliza. Ametumalizia biashara zetu. Biashara nyamakima imeanguka. Wachaina wamechukua biashara yetu, hatuwezi import, shilingi nafanya vibaya, ukulima yetu yaifanyi vizuri, toa ruto. Weka sasa mtu mwingine mfisadi, hati izaleza devil. No. No, 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 no. This is not what the Gen Z died for. 
We didn't die for this. We did not die for this. We didn't die for this. We died for good governance. And it doesn't have to be me. And it doesn't have to be a person from my tribe. It just needs to be a person of integrity. I am satisfied if I see change. I am satisfied. And the people of the mountain need to ask themselves why the people who come from other communities who want to work with the people of the mountain, why they always choose corrupt people and incompetent people to work with. Why do they always make the, the most unqualified to be the best that they will work with? Why? Why do they want bad leaders at the top? Why do they want bad leaders at the top? Because they want people they can steal with. They know you have resources. They know you have capacity. They know you are a hardworking community. People of the mountain, I love you. I'm your son. I will keep coming. I'll keep doing civic education. Your home will be my home. Your people will be my people. I'll drink your milk. I will dance to your music. But God has blessed you. He has blessed you with wealth and he has blessed you with numbers. Let us use those numbers to change our country. It can be somebody from the mountain or it can be somebody from somewhere else but let it be a person of integrity. Let us flush the whole system. Let us clean it up. Let us end the culture of bad governance and bad leadership. This message is not only for the people of the mountain. It is also for you, a Kenyan, wherever you come from, in Western province, in Nyanza province, in Rift Valley, in coast, in Eastern, in Northeastern, do not celebrate and be happy and cheer the same people that have put you in the problem that you are in. Reject manufactured poverty. Let us emancipate ourselves from this trap. Let us build our own leaders. And let's be ready to support a poor person or even a middle income person to be our president. Let's not look for the people who will bring us money. Shika pesa kidogo, nini nini, shika leso, shika nini, munipigie kura. No. Tutafute watu wenye maadili mema. Amba watapeleka Kenya yetu mbele. And that is why I have always been saying, removing William Ruto is not the ultimate solution to the problem in Kenya. The problem in Kenya comes from the people of Kenya. And that's why I rarely focus on the big leadership. I focus on the people. The reason I do vampire diaries and civic education all over the country is because my target is the people of Kenya. Because they are the employers. They are the ones who employ leaders. If the people of Kenya were serious about good governance, some people would never become president or cabinet secretary or governor. Why should somebody steal from NYS and become your governor? Why should somebody steal from judiciary and become your women rep? Why should somebody steal from Ketrako and become your governor? Why should somebody steal from Kenya Ports Authority and become your MP? Why? It shows that the problem is not leaders. The problem is us. We are the ones who need to change how we look at leadership and how we vote. And as Kenyans, let us be ready to have this conversation. Let us be ready to change. And if we are ready to change, mimi ni naamini itabadilika.